Error 41. Error 41 means that you have lost the three phase power to the heater circuit. If you get the display on the front screen, it could say E41 A, B or C, or if you've lost all of the phases, it will cycle between the three. To check where to check, check the power, we'll follow the following sequence. The power comes in from the main socket into the terminal block, L1, L2, L3, and if you're on a C model, you also have the neutral. It then runs to the circuit breaker, and then from the circuit breaker to the contactor. So when we want to test this supply, we just simply check on the, on the terminal blocks, do you have main incoming power? If you have the main incoming power, you would then move to the circuit breaker. We have the incoming side of the circuit breaker and the outgoing side of the circuit breaker. If we lose the power across this, on the other side of this circuit breaker is a standard switch which you can lift up or drop down. Once, if you have power here, you would then next move to the contactor. The heat contactor only controls the power for the elements. So again, you need to check incoming power, and if that's all there, you then move to outgoing power. If you've lost the outgoing power, this contactor coil is fed via the, the high limit circuits. So you should then check the coil to see if you have mainline voltage on it. If you have mainline voltage, then the contactor should be in, it may be it's failed. If you don't have mainline voltage, then you need to verify the high limit circuit. If you do have power coming through this contactor, your next step would be to verify the middle connector on the SSRB, which is the incoming power supply. If you take that off, make sure you have all your, your connections on it. If the power is there, the next step of the circuit comes to this ribbon cable. The power goes through the SSRB via the three small transformers and then is brought up to the SSRB. There is nowhere to test on the SSRB for the high limit circuit. It does represent a small light here, which shows you high limit, uh, high voltage. If that's out, then it isn't seeing the, the voltage. The easiest way to test a board is to remove it and swap it with another lane. Otherwise, as we said, there is no way of confirming if there is an issue with that board or not. Testing the high limit circuit. We start at the connector at the rear of the grill, so the upper platen harness. When you look at the connector, you'll see two reds, two blacks, and then an off yellow and a yellow. These two wires are the high limit circuit. If you want to test it, this will put both of the high limits in the upper platen in series connection. So you simply put your tester on continuity or low resistance and test across these two pins. You'll then see on the screen of the tester, 0 0.3, it should be between 0, 0.0 to 0 0.3. Anything higher than that could show a high resistive joint. If that's testing well as this is, you will then move to the front connector, which controls the lower element high limits. When you come to the, the lower high limits, the connector is in the middle at the front of the grill. On this one, it's on the outside edge. We just undo it. And now we're going to take the upper part of the connection, which runs through the three high limits in series. So we go into one connection, into the other, and we can see on the tester we have 0 0.5. I haven't zeroed these test leads, so that would be okay. Again, if you have a higher value, it could be that your leads are unzeroed or possibly you have a failing high limit.